Welcome once again to Crafty Cricket's Recreation Station. Thanks for tuning in again. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to turn this pile of crap, excuse my French, English, and Spanish again, into these lovely storage containers. How do you like those apples? Actually, they're not apples. They're cans. They're metal cans. And since they are metal cans, you can actually put little notes connected to them with your magnets. Like this note here says, whoopsie days. Can't do this one handed and hold a camera. That's not very, I'm not that talented people. But anyway, this note says recycle, reduce, and reuse. There you have it. The three R's in my recreation station. Recycle, reuse, and reduce. Reduce, I'm sorry. Anyway, I could speak. So let's get started with this project. And today I remembered my badge because how would you know that was really me showing you that other fantastic reuse, reduce, recycle project if I didn't have on my security name badge. Now you know it's really Crafty Cricket. Anyway, so what you take is a can, any size. This is an industrial soup can from a kitchen that I used to work in a few years ago. And um, I saved the cans for future references because I figured one day I can make something out of it. And sure enough, I made those handy dandy storage cans that are magnetized. So anyway, this is a very easy and simple project. So you take your can, whatever size it is, and take a piece of scrap paper, whatever size that you need to fit the height of your can. So this will work nicely. And you wrap it around. There you have it. So, what you're going to do is measure the height of your can and go a little higher. We're going to make a mark. Go a little bit higher than your can, and then you got to cut it. I'm going to use my straight cutter because I'm not good at cutting straight. And I'm going to cut this paper to the size of my can, and like I said, a little higher than the height. So there's extra room to tuck in the flap over the can. So you'll have a nice edge on your can. So there you have it, like that and like that. And now what you want to do is get your glue gun and put a nice seam of glue down your can. Because that's what you need to glue this paper on here. You probably could use tape, double-sided tape, like I did in my other project, but I'm going to try glue gun this time. See that? There you have it. And now you got to glue this side. So again, add some hot glue down the side of your paper and close it shut onto your can. Ouch. But don't do that. That hurts. Anyway, so you press it onto your can and then see it's a little short. So what I'm going to do is the piece that I cut off, I'm going to have to do some patchwork. I'm going to glue this over once I mark my height again. Okay, and now I'm going to cut this once again with my handy dandy paper cutter and hopefully get it the right height. And there you have it. And I'm going to put glue on this end. Glue it to the back of my can so it lines up with the other without getting burned this time. And then add glue to the other side. Now you could use any can you want. Here's a good way of doing this. Roll it and then press. Less chances of getting burnt. Now, see how there's an overlap on top here? Now all you need to do is press it in. Press, press it over the edge of your can. This will give you a nice edge so there's no sharp edges, even though there's no sharp edge on this can because I used a can opener that has the type that doesn't give you any rough edges to get cut on. So there you have your can. Who would have known this was once a soup can? But it wasn't from the soup kitchen, though just to let you know. So then I'm going to take a piece of string, tie it around for decor. Just for a little decor. Nothing, no reason to have this on here if you don't want, but I'm going to put a little piece of ribbon, string, whatever, and i got to cut it with a pair of scissors. And then once it's glued, I'm going to glue on flowers. I mean, once it's uh, tied, I'm going to take these flowers and glue it to it. Check this out. Man, is that radical or is that radical? I say that's radical. Oops, guess what? My string just fell. No problem there because I didn't glue it. I'm going to glue the bow in on. 
around it somehow. There we go. I'll put it right in there and it won't fall because it's going to be hooked into the uh, flower that I first glued on. And you'll still see the ribbon, the bow. There you go. And what I'm going to do is add, I'm going to add a couple more flowers. Make this thing really cutesy. This would be cute for a little girl's room if you have a little girl. I have a little girl, but she's like 19 now. So she's not that little, but she's still little in size. But anyway, here you are. Finished product. A can. How fast was that? Come on, people. You can do this. And if you act now, I could show you how to make another one of these. Actually, I'm not going to show you how to make another one because you know how to make them now. And look at the inside. Perfect. And like I said, they're magnetized, so... You can add magnets to them. You can do whatever you want to using. And also on the inside, if you want, if you feel desire, you could tape down the edge or you could just leave it. It's not kind of thing. And then you can put supplies. Here's one of my paintbrushes. They hold anything. These are nice for bigger items. So that's another creative, reduce, recycle, reused product by me, Crafty Cricket. Have a good one.